Hello everyone, my name is Chef Josh, and welcome to what will be the city of Norland here in City Skylines. Um, I am playing on PS5, this is the PS4 version, uh, however. Um, the map I am using is the new Farmland Flats map from the latest content creator pack that came out a few months ago, I believe. So, um... I really like this map. Uh, it's pretty colorful, and it's got all the different industries, and it's already got a train line kind of coming right through here, and I love the uh, intersection there upon the entrance, and uh, yeah, why don't we just have some fun and see what we can build, and um, I've already got some ideas for maybe a forest sort of industry over there in that peninsula, and maybe some farming over here in this square. You know, maybe even do like some kind of ore quarry pit uh, here in this square where the darker square is. Um, so I've got some ideas and uh, trying to figure out maybe where downtown would go. Um, but, you know, that's that's a long way away. But, um, yeah, let's see what we can build. Um, so let's pause the game, first of all. Yes, yes, build a road. Um, we've got to build just a little sliver here just to get the uh, one way... Uh, road available to us so I'm gonna come out by I think 20 units and I think I'll do obviously 20 back here and I am gonna use the intersector um, not the intersect the uh, roundabout builder here um, that we have on the console and we'll go about this far away I guess um, let's just Let's just structure this bad boy up, so that way um, we don't get any weird angles and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go real simple with the entrance for now. We can always amend this later, um, but just use some freeform tool and go all the way to almost the circle. And be able to nice do a nice little bend in. And we should be able to do this all the way back as well. That looks pretty good. And we just got to flip this guy around. Okay. So we can probably take all this out. There we go. We got a nice little entrance to the uh, to the city here. Um, I am... Some people like to start with the gravel. Um, with the main road, I think I'm going to upgrade this already and spend a little bit of money on this. Um, we are going to go straight with this guy. Probably to let's say here um and then i know this sounds kind of weird but i already sort of want maybe like a diagonal um road to peel off maybe right here or so and i want it to go try to get like a 45 degree angle if we can but we can do 45 and what is that, 10, 20, 30, 40 units? So we'll do that. I just think it'd make a cool kind of road to go down. And, you know, maybe if we do farming down in this area, we'll already kind of have a main road going to it. Um, but let's also upgrade this one and bring this out for now. We'll just do... We'll just do 2,400 worth. Um, this guy can stay as is. All right. Um, we can probably turn off that. And, um, let's start building a little bit of road. I'm going to turn off the road snapping. I know I want something to come off of here. I think we're going to start with just some simple grids. Maybe not all perfect, but I think that's how I'd like to start, at least in the beginning here. So I'm just going to lay out a quick... Um, maybe we can go up like this and come over like that. And just have a little bit of change here. You know, maybe we can fit like a park right there would be kind of nice. Do something like this. That looks kind of cool. I like that. And then we will do 20 this way and come down by 10. 
and over by 10. So it's like almost like these roads would have connected, but maybe we can put some paths in between and get a park in there and do that kind of stuff. I think that'd be kind of nice. Um, and then we will do 10 up and 10 up again. And I think this guy can connect in here. So I think that's a nice starting framework for the uh, residential. And then industry, I think this will be an ore industry. Maybe further down here, we can use some um, of the landscaping stuff to make a little quarry, dig out a hole. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, but let's turn on this again, just so we can see. I want to try to be maybe like 30 away from that intersection. And again, I think we're going to go super just tight on this. Um, maybe, maybe even not as fancy as I did the uh, residential. But let's just do this. We'll go up again. And then maybe here is where we maybe change it. So maybe we do stretches of 15 and 10 and 10. Yeah, just to change it up a little bit. Now it does look like it goes uphill a little bit there, but that's okay. Um, so I think that's a pretty good um, way to start. Um, I did eat through a, a decent amount of the money, but that's okay. Um, I think I'm going to use the inland uh, water treatment. So we will put him right here, I guess. And what else? So we do... I think I'm going to go water tower as well. Um, I'm just going to get rid of some of these trees. Um, and we can decorate that the way we want it. Um, I do like to put the uh, water pipes underneath the roads. Yes, I am that kind of city builder. I know some people like more efficiency with it, but... I think it's just more realistic uh, that the pipes would be underneath the road. So let's just do that. Come down a little bit. There we go. Cover that much. Then we can come this way. And power is the other question. I think I'm going to go wind power uh, just to start. Um, I've done the coal, and I get where people come from when they say about the coal. Power just gives you more... And you don't have to deal with it as often, but I always have problems where I end up losing a ton of money and stuff. So I'd rather implement the water pipes, which is always what ends up messing me up down the road. So I think that's good on that. So we got water, we got sewer. Uh, we just need a little bit of power. And if I remember correctly, after I viewed this map a little bit, there is some wind here. Yes, there is. So maybe we can go on this side of the road. I don't want to get too close to that road. So I think we can get away with doing two to start. And that leaves us 7,000, which should be enough to put in these um, power lines. There we go. And then I will make sure to start the city right around here. So, and then this guy needs to be connected up. So, we can go like this. Let me just turn off all this stuff. Okay. There we go. So, that should be good on that. And so, as for residential, um, I do think I'm going to do a little bit of selective zoning just to start. Um, so maybe we'll plan on there being a path here and a house here. And then we'll do a house here. And maybe again, there'll be a path like right here or so. So maybe we can stick to the corner here just to make sure we're all lined up. Yep, so we'll do a house there. Okay, we can have some fun with some paths and stuff like that. Um... Do another house here and here because the residential does take a while to kind of come to fruition here. 
Um, all right. So I think we can s turn the game on at least and see what we're working with. We'll put it on triple speed just to get things kind of rocking and rolling. Um, I will put a square there just that way because I feel like hopefully this one goes next because, of course, there we go. The power connected. Okay. Nice. I like it. Um, let's mess with the this here. We can probably turn this all the way down more than likely. And same thing with the water. It just helps a little bit with the cost of everything. Um, and what's this? Yeah, even this we probably can turn down. I don't think it's a big, big deal as this early in the game. Hopefully how that'll help the cost a little bit. We should be okay on... Uh, yeah, power water is still literally 100%, so that's good. All right, we got the wind turbines there kicking. Okay, people are complaining about sewage. Does he not have power? Or is he not connected? Um... Oh, there we go. I don't know. That was weird. I was getting nervous for a second. I was like, wait a second. Everything's connected up. Should be good to go. All right. So we can put a little bit more in. Go. So I've been playing City Skylines for about a year now. I, you know, it's pretty, really, really good game. Um, I was a, you know, a Sim City player way back in the day. Um, I remember playing that as a kid and always had a ball playing that. So um, I just started getting into this game about a year ago. And, you know, I've been watching some people on YouTube, and I think the one I resonate most with would be uh, Overcharged Deck. Uh, he's a very good content creator, very good at detailing. Um, it just makes the game more realistic, too, um, when you detail like that. So, But it's coming together nicely. I, I, I really like it. So we are still losing some money, uh, but everything's kind of going up. Do we have our first people coming through yet? No, not yet. Haven't seen any cars yet. But maybe we can start playing with a little bit of... Uh, commercial as well so maybe this guy has one behind him and again I think I'm going to leave space for a path there we'll get some uh, 4x4s in maybe a 3x3 just a little selective to start industry I'm not too too worried about um, I'm probably just going to blanket this uh, for the industry There we go. That should be good to start. Man, I haven't seen any cars come through yet, huh? Hopefully everything uh, everything looks connected here. Everybody seems to be happy. No weird connections. Go four by four. We got two of the same building here, huh? Hey, there we go. All right, let's see who the uh, first person into New Orleans is. Oliver Greenaway resides at the Broad Residence, driving home, unemployed, just moved in. There we go. Nice. There we go. Everybody's coming. All right, let's speed this up. Um, I think I'm going to let that one regrow. Just so we can get something different in on this street. We'll make this historical. Make that historical. Um, three by three. Three by four, rather. Man, it really likes this building, huh? There you go. A little bookstore. 
We'll make that historical. Cool, cool. So it looks like industry demand is still kind of ticking away here. So we'll do that. All right, looks like we might have to increase our electricity. Maybe we'll put this up to 80% as well. Electricity, 80%. There we go. Should help us out. There we go. Nice. Looks like we're on the cusp of making some money. So that's good. There we go. We are officially in the green with the budget. All right, so maybe we'll start zoning up these guys over here. I think I'm gonna stick with the specific zoning just for now. There we go. We'll put a path right there between the two so those guys can walk along. We'll do one there as well. Okay. I like it. I like it so far. I love how people just like park on the road over here too. All right. Go. We can add another one here. I think I'm going to add some down here as well. We'll save this for a path. And I think we're just going to copy, for the most part, what the what the businesses are doing behind this. Put this guy in a corner here. I think we'll change up the size just a little bit with the houses. See kind of what comes in. Maybe a little 2x2 two two corner shop there. Oh, we officially have a uh, Pancakes International. We definitely got to make that residential. I mean, uh, historical. So, town's kind of coming together. I think we'll do a little on the outskirts here as well. Saving a path there. This can get filled in. And this can get filled in. And all this can get filled in. We'll save uh, some pathing there. Okay. All right, still waiting for that little slot to kind of come in. Go. Can add a house there. Okay. And then I think... I think right here I'm going to let this just sort of mass uh, zone a little bit. Just kind of let it organically come in, and we'll save a spot there to put a little path right through. Um, you know, we don't have to be perfect on everything. You know, it's not, I mean, not every house in your city, I'm sure, looks the same. You know, you're going to have houses that, you know, something like this compared to something like that. I mean, look at this guy in the corner, you know. So, you know, I think, I think uh, it brings a little more realism when you start letting it do it organically as well. Um... So, all right, looks like uh, they're looking for some more industry, so maybe we'll fill in uh, one of these squares to let these guys come in. And uh, no trash or anything yet, just kind of getting to that first milestone, which I'm sure we close, 550, okay. Yep, so we just kind of keep plowing away here and... Um, I think I'll see you all when we get to the uh, 550 mark. I'm just going to keep zoning and keep going that way with it. All right, we have made it to Little Hamlet. So now we have uh, garbage available to us, some healthcare care options, um, education and campus areas have been locked. Um, we've got we now we can play with some taxes and loans. And here's a few new buildings. Um, I do have all the DLCs, so I do have a few here that uh, the Green Cities, I believe, is a recycling center and a community school. Um, so, yeah, let's have some fun with little Hamlet stuff. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get to 
Um, tiny town today with the landscaping, but uh, you know, let's do, let's have some fun, right? Uh, let's uh, we can let let the game stay on uh, triple speed here. Um, but looks like we got a little money in the bank. We're officially making twelve eighteen a week now. I think I'm going to stick with the landfill. It's not the best option, but I think for such a small town, I'm okay with the landfill being there. I mean, most smaller towns have some sort of landfill or some sort of center like that. Um, I know mine does. Um, and then we also got... So I'm going to hold off on the health care. I don't really feel like the sims need it right away but i am like we already got the garbage kind of like they're, they're coming they're coming they're coming don't worry it's it's garbage day they're coming um but um i'd really like to get a elementary school in not right away but i think soon you know, I think even the smallest of towns usually have some kind of, like, elementary or something like that school. Um, but I'm just going to fill in a few more of these here. And I'd kind of like to leave a little bit of space in case we decide to go that way. But um, I am going to bring start bringing some more roads in. Um, let's just turn on all this stuff. So, you know, maybe we can get the elementary school in over here somewhere. Like if I come in like that and now this goes this way. I think that's fair to say that that's probably what would happen. Um, but I think we're going to stick mostly with the grid that we kind of have working right now. Um, come on. Let's turn off uh, this. That's what's messing me up here. So we'll carry you down just a little bit further maybe. Bring you down. But I think we can still have some fun with the way the grid is kind of like lined up. Let's take that away. So we'll do that. There we go. I think again, going kind of like this is the best way to go. And it kind of just turns the roads a little bit. We can have a little square there. Um, and then maybe this guy comes up and comes this way. So I do know that I want this road to sort of continue down as well so maybe we could spend a little bit of money just to get him in place and now we kind of know where we want to carry these roads like i know i want this one so maybe he comes in like that yep i like that and again maybe a smaller box like that um I do feel like I want to make this the elementary school sort of not, I don't want to say complex, but um, I think that that's the safest option. It says, why don't we save that? Or well, we could put that in now, probably. So maybe he can sit along this road here. There's a little sweet spot there where he'll kind of let it go. Beautiful. Okay, and then I'm going to save a little bit of area behind it um, to hopefully fit maybe some kind of playground or maybe we can extend this playground with some of the props once they become available, which is that 1600 um, mark that we're trying to hit with the population, which we may or may not do in this episode. Um, I can see that industry is sort of crying a little bit. So why don't we give them three to work with? And that should suffice for a little while and get this population kind of cranking here. Um, I do want to lay some more water pipes. Um, so I am probably going to keep it on three speed just for a little while. Um, 
once we get to a point where maybe we're doing more detailing and things like that, we can slow it down and really, you know, just let the city kind of do its thing. But um, I want to have this in place because um, this is already kind of filling up, to be quite honest with you. Um, I do think I'm going to add some houses up here, though, while I'm here. I think I'm just going to do a straight shot uh, like this. We'll save a line for a path. And again, for either a path or a road to kind of continue through. And I think we're going to do the same thing on this side. Let's just do some, let it organically kind of come through. And we can add in one specific zoning here. And they are asking for some more, um, oh, what is that, a little, like, uh, gas station. Nice. I like that. I never really noticed if this game had um, gas stations in it, but apparently it does. A little pancake place, and we got a little corner, st corner store. Um, I just like to make everything historical in this part of the city, just because it, the, the vanilla assets get real ugly. I see that we have an electrical problem. Um, let me just, of course, zoning is more important in my head right now than that, which probably doesn't make much sense, but so we'll do that. And I think we'll do maybe a four by three like that and see what pops up. All right, let's figure out this power thing. Um, I think the easiest thing is going to be just to put another one of these down. Um, and we, they are crying for some water as well. So I think if we just stay in this line, maybe we can do something with this integrate it into a build um oh it's just missing some pipes that's good we're still looking good on water and sewer um needs which is great so there we go all right cool 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 um i am gonna add um a little bit of zoning i'm gonna bring this road out because i feel like that's what it's gonna happen anyways just so that way this house um, can kind of pick which road it wants to um, adhere to. And I think we'll throw in a 4x4 four four here while we're there. And we can do a little shop here. Oh, it's nice. A little ice cream shop or something like that there. Looks like a little restaurant. Laundry. Sally's. Okay. So we'll historical all of this. I, I don't have a problem with any of these buildings. Oh, nice. A little, like, uh, oh, laundromat. See, I like that. That laundromat's way nicer than the coin laundry one. I like that. Uh, let's see what this bad boy turns into. Oh, what do we got? I really can't read that, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll keep it. It kind of looks like a Taco Bell, almost. Um, cool, cool. All right, I, 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 like, I like the way the city is popping up so far. Uh, residential is through the absolute roof. Um, so I think, again, I'm just going to do some generic um, sort of... So let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do some generic zoning for now. I think I'm going to save this for a little, like, green space sort of thing. Um, we'll do that. Matter of fact, I think we can fill all this in. I think we're going to carry it. Maybe we'll carry a path like through there like that. Um, I like these houses. They kind of look like apartments almost. Like you could almost get away with saying that this is like a high density sort of uh, building, you know. They kind of do look like one of the high density ones. All right, Worthy Village. I didn't even know we were that close to it. All right, cool, cool, cool. So again, we get so we got a new area that we can figure out. We can now make districts. We got some policies. We can get that second loan if we so need it. Um, just some policies, and the big ones are the police and the fire. So we got that going on. And if you know, now we've got some industry specializations, um, organic and local produce, which is very cool for making little like farmers markets and things. Um, cool, cool. So I already know that fire is going to be an issue because it almost always is. Uh, as soon as you build it, um, a building more than likely catches on fire within a few minutes. So I think, 
I'd like to kind of make the fire department have a little special area, um, per se, but I'm not sure where that would be. So, I think... It probably should be near the industry area. Um, but maybe we can have a little bit of fun with it. So maybe let's take a road out here. Up by 10. By 10. And then let's connect these roads. Yeah, I think I like that. It's kind of different. And then from here, like this road could carry out if you want it to. You can have some fun with some grids. Like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, so I think this little thing right here, this little square, will kind of be some fire and maybe other random um, industry stuff. But I think... I think, actually, you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to create a European. Di so there's a little trick. If you create a district and tell it that you want it to be uh, European. Um, so if I change this to European, yes. Now I should have access to the European um, assets as well, which doesn't look like it did it for me. So I'm not sure what the deal with that is. So I guess we're just going to roll with the classic. And I think I'm going to put him right here in the corner. Okay, so everybody's kind of happy. Again, we're in electricity problems. Um, and I also think I'm going to throw down a police station. Um, I think I want that to be... Maybe we can... Can we fit him in right here? No, not really. Could be on the main road. Um, maybe, like, right next to the school. Or we could put him, like, right here. Yeah, I think I, think I like that better. So it's a nice uh, corner kind of asset. And I think I'm going to take that first loan as well. Let's bump this up to 100. I'm going to take, up the, I'm going to take the big boy loan. Because I also want to get in uh, the medical building as well. And I think that... Um, I think I'm going to sit that right here. But I think I'm going to delete this house and this house and take out this zoning just to give these guys some breathing room. So I think um, this right here. There we go. So I don't know if they're going to delete themselves or not, but I just want to give this medical center a little bit of breathing room with the whole... You know, around the corner next to the school, we got the police station right there. Um, let's take a few of these lights out. We'll give them a stop sign. Um, this light, let's take that out. Stop sign. This should probably be a light, but we'll just give them a stop sign there. And this we can do stop sign. Um, really? Power? Oh, really? That's a little wackadoo. There we go. All right. So now he's happy. We have major power issues everywhere. So I think, you know, guys, I, I do think it's time for the coal uh, power plant. We will put him right next to the um, landfill. Um, I think it's just time to go that way and not worry about power for quite some time. We got money rolling in. Uh, we got almost 40 G's in the bank. Um, let's, um, I think I'm just going to generic zone all of this here. And all of this here. Just let these guys kind of come in. 
So I'm just going to keep zoning up and um, wait for uh, Tiny Town to hit. So I will see you all when we get to that point. We have made it to Tiny Town in this episode. Um, so we have at 1600. The big thing here is the landscaping. Uh, we've also opened up the leisure, which is a lot of the pre-built parks um, and the fishing industry and industry areas now. So we can go ahead with that plan for the ore or maybe some farming to start. Um, but uh, the big thing is the landscaping. Now we can add some paths and fences and, and all that uh, fun stuff. Uh, I think we also, I want to say we got the, I thought the cemetery was in this um, one as well, but maybe not. Um, maybe not. I thought, I thought cemetery was in this as well. Let me just, yeah, no, I guess not yet. All right. So people, people can't die yet. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so, so the big thing here is the paths and all that kind of stuff. Um, I just extended this roadway out a little bit. I got rid of this little cul-de-sac thing that was going on over here. I already kind of got a plan for what might go there. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's just slow this down a little bit and maybe we can organically let some stuff grow, um, while we're kind of adding in some paths, um, but we will do that. And actually, you know what? Maybe we'll save this one for like a green space. Um, we will save a line here for a path as well. All right. So let's go back to our original town here. And let's just add in a few, uh, I think just some few dirt paths would uh, make a big difference. Help people around the city a little bit. Um, we'll put one there and, you know, maybe we can put one here. Um, and we will go here and we can even like box these in like this sort of thing. Um, I'm going to come off of all my snaps and come right down the center. So maybe we can, you know, say that maybe these, uh, this, uh, little, restaurant here in the coin laundry wants some fencing, you know, on the side of their thing. So here we do a little uh, nature reserve path just on the side here, you know, uh, maybe a little content creator. I uh, can't fit it in. Maybe a tree. I like, I like these trees. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit anything in though. Um, but I, I, I am a fan of these. Um, I like those a lot. But we got some paths here now. And maybe we can get on board with some dirt path here as well. So maybe we can... Let's try out maybe doing a little bit of a row of these. Now, maybe these neighbors have planted these on the side just to kind of give some privacy uh, between them and the path next to them sort of thing. Um, here is where um, the console having some sort of prop line tool would be a gorgeous thing. But I think I like that, you know. Maybe these neighbors all kind of got together one Saturday and did some planting. Um, just going to keep with the paths. Um, we can snap to the grid and to the angle on this one. There we go. Connect him in. Um, maybe again we can do some sort of tree. Almost like a tree border in between these. Maybe these guys have... A, uh, a barrier of trees between their yards. You know, it doesn't always have to be fencing. It doesn't always have to be a path, but, you know, I mean, it kind of sticks out a little bit, but I think I think I can get a board with it. Again, we'll snap to the grid on this one and here, and maybe we can even connect like, oops, oops. There we go. 
something like that. Maybe we could do something with this space. Let's um, see what we can do here. So, I think even though I haven't built anything, I still have access to some of these. So maybe there's like a little neighborhood, you know, community garden type thing um, growing over here. Maybe we can pretend that these are some raised beds for um, vegetables and things like that, you know. Maybe a sand pit or two for the kids. You know, keep the kids busy. You know, maybe we can... I'm not sure if we'll be able to, but maybe we can even squeeze in a little bit of the fence here between the two. Uh, let's just come off of all this stuff. Straight. There we go. Maybe... Um, I love the new content creator, uh, like, oak trees and all that. Uh, maybe a few of these just to give some shade to the kids. You know, maybe a couple flowers. But, you know, maybe like a little neighborhood garden there. Uh, maybe all these guys got in on it. So we'll just keep with the paths here. Just keep helping out some connectivity. Um, we'll do one here. You know, not everybody has to have a fancy path. Maybe these are just paths that got worn over time sort of thing. This guy can hopefully connect in there. You know, and again, maybe... Um, got some props here. Maybe uh, these guys all pitched in and got a few gazebos. For their little spot here. And maybe we can throw a bird bath in. And maybe a few benches. There we go. And then I think I'm going to stick with the oak trees here. For a little shade. Some of these as well. Just kind of help out with some shade. Again, maybe a little, maybe a little of the grass has gotten a little over overgrown. But you know, just a little something. You know, some next to somebody's house. You know, a little neighborhood get together spot. Um, I I know I did talk about wanting to see if I could fit in a playground here. I have a feeling I won't be. Oh, I can. Yes. I'll take it. So I do like to try to add a little playground next to a school. Uh, it helps out the town. Plus it also just, you know, gives that aesthetic that the school would probably have some extended playground next to it. Um, maybe we'll add a little corner shop in here. And then we can just fill in with some of these trees. A few of these few of these. Some of the ones that the park actually comes with. You know? And maybe just like a couple of the oaks just to kind of lend a little bit of deepness and color to that whole thing. We'll see what pops up here. It looks like it's going to be fine, whatever it is. Whatever it is, I'll probably end up making it historical. Um, yeah, that's fine. It's like a little mechanic garage type thing. I'm okay with that. So I believe I made all these historical already. Yep. So, but I do think I'm going to uh, end the first episode there as we are running into water issues. Um, a perfect spot to end the... Uh... Let me just make sure... Um, yeah, we're at 100%. I am going to up the taxes to 12. Um, it just helps. So that's like the maximum you can kind of go before you start getting yelled at. Um, but I do think maybe I'll add in another water tower just temporarily. I'm just going to throw it 
I'm just going to throw it here to be for... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to throw it there temporarily. That's okay. Just just for now. I, I have a plan as to maybe where I might want to move it. Um, but that should... Oh, is it? The, we need water? Oh, I'm such an idiot. There we go. So do I actually need this or not? Did I need that? Oh, I did need that. That's okay. Well, we'll just deal with that the next one because I think I want to put that maybe next to the high school or in some sort of town center type build or um, I think we'll do our city park the next one. But um, I do appreciate you all uh, watching that first episode. If you've gotten this far and you liked what you watched and want to see some more, a like always helps. Um, comments, sharing, all that helps the channel grow. Um... I'm hoping to get an episode out once a week at a very minimum, but hoping for maybe two, maybe three times. I also stream um, on Twitch, so I'm hoping to get that involved as well with this city. But uh, I appreciate uh, all the support and all that, and um, I will see you in Norland uh, next time. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by.